Today, we're gonna unbox some manga. Let's jump into it. Manga reveal. All right, guys, let's bring everything to the floor. Fuck everything, throw it all on the floor. Ah! How much did all those cost, bro? Oh, bro, you don't even wanna know, man. Uh, we're gonna start off with figures, then we'll move into the manga, all right? Let's just, let's just do that. I will save certain figures for last. These figures will segue into manga. All right, so, first figure. Don't even know what's in this box. Let's see what we got. Oh, cool, cool. I didn't know I ordered this. Tight, that's a tight fit. Uh? Yeah, uh? First figure, Chainsaw Man Noodle Stopper. We got a Chainsaw Man Noodle Stopper. That's cool, I can I can literally have it like sitting right up next to, um, right up next to, where's my, where's my, where's my blade? Oh, I suck. That was uncool. I thought it was gonna be way cooler. I fucked it up. All right. Hello, Denji. What are you doing, mate? Oh, is this tape two? That's cringe. Oh, he's already out. You can literally have little Denji. It's not bad. It's not, it's not great, but it's not bad. Yo, no cap. This shit looks pretty good. I like it. I like it, chat. It's kind of sick. I'm gonna put him right here. That's kind of hard. That is kind of hard. Not gonna lie. Maybe I need more noodle stoppers. Wow. Stop them nudes, you know? It's a Denji nude stopper. What's ironic is, I don't think Denji would ever do that, right? I don't think Denji would ever stop nudes. Yay! All right, next up. Now, admittedly, you guys already know about this, but I bought the Gundam Aerial Gunpla. By the time this video is posted on YouTube, we will have already built this on stream. Built it on July 5th, okay? So, if you weren't there for the stream, that is too bad. Next up, we've got literally one of my favorite characters ever. Dude, I ordered this figure a year ago, and I just got it, like, a couple months ago. Also, I think I'm out of focus. One of my favorite characters ever. Back when I was younger, I used to draw a lot, and I actually had a DeviantArt account. Actually, fuck, now I don't want to tell you guys, because what if it's still active? Oh, that would be so cringe. Don't worry, there was no... There, guys, there was no Deviant in the art that I made, but it was a reference to this character. This was one of my favorite characters growing up because there was one anime that I watched a lot of growing up, Naruto, one of my favorite characters, Lee. Shout out to your boy Rock Lee, you know? What's up with them toes? We got a Lee figure. Lee was literally one of my favorite characters growing up, man. Oh my God. Look how they massacred my boy. Oh my God, what did they do to you, Lee? What did they do to him? That's hard, bro. That is hard. That is a hard figure right there, bro. That's probably one of the biggest figures I own. That is. That is literally the biggest figure I own now. That's kind of sick. Yay. Time for the most expensive of the figures from today, okay? And that's because it's a set. I got a figure set. It is a set of figures, okay? This is literally a set from, I'm gonna be real with you, my favorite manga. I actually really love what they did with this. This is honestly kind of one of the coolest sets that I think I've ever seen. Or kind of coolest like way that they handled this. One of the coolest ways that they've ever handled like boxing and all that stuff. It just makes sense for like the series. Three of these figures took me an eternity to get because I had to get them from Japan because well, Right Stuff only had two out of the five. So the figures in question are these. Look at these shoe boxes. You guys see these shoe boxes? Slam dunk. I got all five. I got the starting five. Starting five for, for Shohoku High at point guard, standing at a very, very short stature. Let's be realistic. Not very tall guy. We've got the one and only. Oh, no. These are very small. These are way smaller than I thought they would be. The one and only Ryota. Starting at shooting guard, we've got Mitsui. And you know him because his name is chanted in the crowds constantly throughout the entire series. Constantly chanted. Lots of girls love him. In fact, you've probably heard L-O-B-E Nukawa so many times. We've got Rukawa. Wait, yeah, Rukawa. Starting at center. He holds it down. He is the man in the middle. He roams the paint. Pretty fucking unstoppable. Number four for Shohoku High. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yo, they got the Converse logo on his shoes. Akagi. And finally, the main character of our show, the one and only, number 10 for Shohoku High, starting at power forward. The man can't get a bucket, but fuck it. Sakuragi Hanamichi. Cool, oh, I didn't fuck up his name, good. And that is your starting five, fire. That shit is fire, dude. Yeah, dude, what I love about these figures is they come in a shoebox, bro. 
They're literally a shoebox. That's fire, dude. What a great idea, dude. If you like sports manga, it is like my, in my opinion, the best sports manga ever. Highly recommend. All right, so the reason why I said this is a perfect segue is because of this. I said it was my favorite manga and I bought every volume of Slam Dunk. This is volumes one to 31 of Slam Dunk. So let's check out these covers, man. We got volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five, volume six, volume seven, volume eight, volume nine, volume 10, volume 11, volume 12, volume 13, volume 14, volume 15. I just realized these are upside down. Volume 16, volume 17. By the way, Ride or die right there. She a real one, bro. Volume 18, volume 19, volume 20, volume 21, which has like one of the creepiest covers. Volume 22, volume 23, volume 24, volume 25, volume 26, volume 27, volume 28, volume 29, volume 30, and volume 30. It's up to this point because I could not get like all of it at once. It just, it's just like half of the thing was out of stock. So I was like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And finally they got a reprint. Next up, since we're talking about sports manga, we also got the new volume of Blue Lock with Rin on the cover, right? Wait. Yes, with Rin on the cover, kind of sick. We also got volume two of a series that I have not read, but it'll probably be good because it was, you know, the, the person that made uh, the series before. So. Sorry, the mangaka made a series before this one that a lot of people really enjoy. I've never read the manga, I only watched the anime, but I got volume two of Chojin X. Very interesting covers, by the way. The way that they do their covers, it's very white everywhere. They got the one box with the image, interesting. And next up, just in case I ever want some horror in my life. Oh, I also have Uzumaki, but now I've got real horror right here. PTSD Radio. The series has gone on indefinite hiatus because the creator started to experience some of the PTSD, some of the horrors in the series. That's how you know it's real shit. So we got volume one of PTSD Radio, volume two, same series, and volume three. They're very weird looking covers. I definitely want to read this at some time, but I also don't know if I will be okay after reading it, so. Next up, we've got some omnibuses. We got four three-in-one omnibuses. Some big boy omnibuses for Fire Force. I really enjoy Fire Force, the, the anime. I imagine the manga probably even better, um, though the, the anime is really good. It's got one of my favorite OPs ever. Volume one, volume two, some thick boys, by the way. Look at this. Look at the difference in thickness. Three volumes, guys. It's three in one. And volume three. So this is essentially nine volumes in these three. I lied, I got four volumes, four volumes. Volume four of Fire Force. Four volumes, didn't see that one coming. Haha, -ha, got him. Next up, we got a few other series here, a few others. We got a couple of volumes of a, of, of a bunch of different things. So I have the first 11 volumes of this series. I really enjoy it. It's got the vibes. The anime had the vibes musically, visually. It was one of my favorite anime about a year ago, Call of the Night. Call of the Night, volume 12. I am excited for this to get a second season at some fucking point, right? It's got to, eventually, I would hope so. And um, I also got volume 25 of another series that I'm currently caught up with inside the app, One Punch Man. So I've already read everything in here, but I love One Punch Man, dude, it's a lot of fun. Then we've got two more volumes of another series that I've been collecting. I already have the first six volumes. This is seven and eight of Sakamoto Days. I can't wait for this to actually get an anime. It's gonna be hype. I read a few chapters of it and uh, and then I stopped because I had a feeling, you know what? It might be pretty good. Volume seven and volume eight. Oh shit. The volumes of Fire Force do have a continuous picture side by side. Damn, kind of like Vagabond. That's sick. I like that. All right, and then something maybe you are aware of, maybe you're not. It's getting an anime really soon and I hear that it's good. I got the first three volumes of Go Go Loser Ranger. I love that you guys mentioned Kaiju 8 and Freerin when that's Freerin and that's Kaiju 8. I, I hear it's gonna be really good. Uh, I don't know who's animating it, but I'm excited to see it. We got volume one, volume two, and volume three of Go Go Loser Ranger. Next up, we got a few others. 
You actually just mentioned this one. You got volume eight now for Freerin. Got an anime coming real soon. Should be exciting. I have volumes one, two, three, five, and six for this. I don't have volume seven or four because four was out of stock and seven also, yeah, out of stock. Couldn't get it. Uh, next up, we've got the one shot volume by someone who is who has been picking up a lot of steam as like one of the better mangaka because of his recently uh, animated and one of my favorite series, Chainsaw Man. We've got the one shot for Goodbye Airy by Tatsuki Fujimoto. I actually own Look Back, I own Chainsaw Man, and I own Fire Punch. So this is just another one that I'm gonna have to read at some point. Should be pretty good. I'm excited for it. Next up, we've got volume six of something that I recently started collecting because I finished the show. Not anime, show. Alice in Borderland. We got volume six now. So I've got the first six volumes of Alice in Borderland. Bro, the show slaps. Highly recommend. I bet the manga's even better. Next Next up, we've got a volume for, remember how I said Slam Dunk's my favorite series? Listen, if I was doing like a three by three for my favorite manga, this series would be in it. The newest volume, volume 29 of Golden Kamoi. I love Golden Kamoi. It is truly one of my favorite series ever. I cannot sing enough praises for this series. It is so good. It is so weird. It is so funny. It is so dope. Overall, just, just phenomenal. I love Golden Kamoi so much. I'm going to be reading this soon. That's for sure. And finally, volume nine for the hard covers of a classic manga. Absolute classic. Fist of the North Star. It's volume nine. I love the hard covers of this. They've got this, um, the parts where you see like blood and stuff, like up here, it's like shiny. It's like, it's, um, it's like a gloss. You feel the difference. It's, it's a hard cover. It's got the, it's on the back. It's got panels. Oh, phenomenal. I love these hardcovers. I hope more series get this beautiful hardcover treatment. Viz signatures, man. They just, they just slap, man. They do. Next up, we got some box sets and big boys. So to start off, this is a classic series. So many people say so many good things about this series. It is a Kodansha series. It is, I, I got the the fully compiled version of this. It's a fucking book, guys. It is a book. The Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell, guys. Classic series. One of the OGs. It's paved the way for so much sci-fi, you know? It's a massive, massive book with massive art. Beautiful color pages, too. Look at some of these color pages. Feels amazing. The art is huge. Classic. Next up, we got an art book. These are illustrations from one of my favorite mangaka. We've already shown a, 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 you know, one of his series here. I actually own volumes from three of his series. Yeah, so just more slam dunk, guys. We got the, the, the second illustrations book. I think this is the second one, pretty sure. Illustrations by Inoue. It's big. It's gonna be some beautiful artwork on this. I'm excited to uh, take a look at it. And then two box sets. We got two box sets, guys, two box sets, okay? First box set for a series you're probably well aware of. Let's be real. I've done reactions for two seasons of this anime and I didn't collect any volumes of it until now. Weird box set because it, it like, it feels like it could fit a whole nother volume, but it only has six volumes in it, whatever. Got the box set for this little one, Nagatoro. Don't toy with me, Miss Nagatoro, six volumes. I'll show you guys the volumes themselves as well. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it comes with some pins? What are these? Oh, these are cute. That's cute. I like that. All right, so we got volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five, and volume six. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna collect. It's vertical comics. Yeah, I don't know. Cause they're, I don't think there's like, they're they're pretty expensive. They're like $13 for, for what's going on in this, this small amount of actual manga. Kind of, kind of crazy. And uh, one more box set guys, one more box set for a a series that I have not read. In fact, I didn't even know about this until somebody put me on game. We'll see how good it is. I don't know. I'm kind of debating. Maybe I should just wait for an anime, but I don't, and no anime has been announced for it. That's my biggest issue with this. But I, I, I don't know, man. People see, seem to say it's really good. Maybe it hasn't gotten an anime because it's not about fucking high schoolers, you know? Feels like more often than not, we're getting high school stuff. So I got the first box set for Sweat and Soap. I hear it's really good. It's an adult cast, so it's not like a high school thing. They're actually adults. That's hentai? No, it's not. Don't don't cap. It looks wholesome. Don't cap. No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. No, it is not. It's wholesome. Yeah, see? Bro, you're trying to you're trying to get me, dude. I almost believed you. So we got volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five, volume six for sweat and soap. Okay, so 
Finally, the very last stuff we got is all light novels. I lied. There's one. There's one. There's 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 one. Um. There's there's one manga. First, the 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 manga volume, volume 13 of Blood on the Tracks. A little more horror for me, so that way I can be scared. And then we've got three volumes for a series that I've already got a lot of, and this should help me round it out. I'm missing like one or two more of them to get caught up. But we got volumes. We got three volumes of Mushoku Tensei. We got volume six, volume ten, and volume twelve. Twelve. I'm excited for the anime. That should be really fire. I'm, I'm fucking waiting for it, man. And then we've got one volume. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is the final volume for So I'm a Spider, So What? Volume 16. And then we've got five volumes. Five volumes of, well, a series that fucking nobody thought would ever return despite having a big following a big fan base but it has returned okay we already got a second season we're getting a third season in winter 2024 now it's classroom of the elite i got the first four and a half volumes volume one volume two volume three volume four and volume four and a half because for some reason there's like half volumes and stuff so this brings me up to a, for for specifically for um classroom of the elite i now have everything but volume seven nine and eleven and a half for year one there might actually is there a seven and a half as well i think i think there is there is a seven and a half i thought so i thought so oh wait i'm not done i'm not done i just remembered i have a whole box set all right guys the final item for today you saw it in the thumbnail we got the first box set for one piece come on hold down there we go kind of heavy when you have to extend your arms so i have all four box sets for one piece now one day when i have more space on my shelves i'll be able to actually put those box sets up there um i do plan to read one piece probably when i get about halfway through the anime i'll start reading it as well the box set for one piece is kind of nice i'm not gonna lie I like that. I like the large box sets like that for the entire series. It's nice. And that's everything for today. So we got 23 volumes in the in the in that. 31 plus 13 plus 12 with these two box sets. Another 19 on 82, guys. This is over a hundred volumes. This is a hundred and a hundred volumes of manga and light novels, and then also this um box. Uh, sorry, this uh this art book. A hundred volumes of manga and light novels, an art book, seven figures, and a gun plug. And that is today's manga haul. I no longer have space for this, by the way. I don't I don't even think I have enough space for these things all to go on my shelves. I just don't. It's just, it's, I just don't have enough space. I am done with manga hauls for a little bit. It's gonna be a little while. We're probably not gonna do another one until close to the end of the year. Cause I do have a goal of going over a thousand volumes. I wanna go over a thousand total volumes. We are currently at 945. I made a tweet about it, about how many volumes I have. We're definitely over 900 volumes. So my goal by the end of the year is to go over a thousand, but I don't wanna do another unboxing for a while cause I need a whole fucking shelf. So a hundred volumes of manga or light novels in this haul, seven figures and a gunpla, as well as a art book. Let me know down in the comments, what's your favorite series from all of this here that i've that i that i that i have here let me know in the comments below and as always if you enjoyed the video then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one until next time I'm sure you all keep it fresh peace